One of the biggest issues at the minute with the Game Gears, due to simply more people now modding them and restoring them, and having better details on how to recover them, is that the cartridge slot tends to be a big point of failure now. So where you insert the game into the console, those pins over time become corroded, oxidised, or have acid damage, or simply have lost the spring, meaning the games don't load well. So we now have yet another product to help restore and continue using the old consoles. This time, it's the game slot for the Game Gear. This is a product I've been making for well over a year now, and it basically replaces the Game Gear's cartridge slot where the game inserts into the console. This allows us to now restore more consoles with failing connectors, as well as if you're using the new uh, modern boards, such as the SYF board, you now don't have to try and salvage an old connector from a board, which is a nightmare to remove. This one simply connects into the modern boards, or as I'll show you right now, you can just simply snip off the old connector and install the game slot in 5-10 to 10 minutes, and have a brand new, fully functional, and serviceable in the future, connector for your game cart. Hopefully this will be popular, and we'll continue to make them for more consoles, and help keep the retro dream alive. So let's just dive in and take a look at how easy this is to install in a game gear. So we've got here the game slot. This is how you will receive the game slot connector. If you open the box up, you'll find you've got the actual connector itself, which is the main part, with serviceable pins in here. So if you ever want to clean these pins or swap them out, take these two screws out and simply slide this out. We'll sell all these spares so that over time, if you then need to replace something, you can just replace the top connector, for example. As well as the top piece, we have the bottom piece. If you are using SYF boards, the new ones, this is an older one, but the new ones will come with this connector already baked into the board here. So you won't need this connector installing on you know, the new SYF boards. We'll be stocking these as well very soon. So keep an eye out for that. But on the original, you'll basically solder this to the board and that's it. Once you've soldered it, you take your ribbon and it's gold side up, connecting to the uh, FPC connector there and then into the FPC connector here, and that's it. So let's take a look at how to first remove the original connector. So I just get myself uh, a board here. Now let's say these pins were dirty or non-functioning, or you've scoped them perhaps and found out that this is the faulty part. It's really quick and easy to remove. I've already done a video on this. But all you want to do is cut these rivets so there's a little lip on these rivets here that you just want to try and snip off and all you're looking at doing is removing the tiny lip that contacts the plastic so you're not trying to do much more than take off that little lip and with that done now you just want to snip all these connector pins so if you just take flush cutters and simply go down the line like this snip one snip two three and just simply go down and once you have all of those done I tend to find just bend these pins up the ones you've cut just simply bend them out of the way and once you can see inside there now you can simply get your cutters and go down and in there and you can snip the pins like that alternatively if you were trying to say use this on another build you could just simply turn it upside down and snip from this side it's whichever preference you find easier I tend to just bend the pins up and cut from underneath once you've cut all those you'll tend to find that this then just pulls out you can see those pins are off and this is the only rivet holding it in at the minute so just either give it a wiggle or just get like a pry tool go underneath and just pry away and it's that rivet that was just holding the plastic in once you've got that you can remove the rivets now i'm just going to chuck this connector i don't need this one because i'm using our new one that's all the prep work that's required we've simply snipped off the old connector and now to install the game slot we first take the board and this sits over the original pins here if you've got any stumps left it kind of aligns naturally over them so leaving a tiny bit of a stump helps sort of align this board as you can see there and with that in position we will just solder say the first corner over here so get it roughly in position apply some solder 
And you don't want too much solder. You don't want it running under and bridging underneath, which can happen. So just enough solder to see. And then this side, you want to solder the other pin. And at the minute, the board is kind of floating in the air like this, you see. And it's caused by, see these two pins bending over. So you want to make sure when you've snipped them, either snip them flush like that, or just make sure they're not bending over to stop the connector sitting flat. And you can see there now we can solder this one flat down. So with that on, we have a nice flat board. And once you're happy your position's right, there's no bend in the board, you can just go ahead and solder the rest. So just take your time getting that first connection good. And again, a little bit of solder and just leave your iron on to let the solder sink down into the pad. Don't put too much solder on because you don't want them bridging underneath. And as always, after we've finished, while it's still warm as well, just give the board a quick clean up. So there's no flux remaining on the board. And with that, you could finish modding your board or assembling it however you like. This would then go into the shell. And once it's in the shell and screwed down, you can connect your black ribbon with gold pins facing up. Lock down the bales on the game slot at the top just pull out the black veil insert the ribbon into the top again gold pins facing up and lock the bales and then just taking the screws from the original console or the shell you then lock in the game cartridge connector just the same way you'd lock in the original And there's your brand new serviceable game cartridge connector in nice sleek black color. And once you put the lid on, it fits perfectly fine. And once it's in, you'll find your games should make a nice, good click. If you find that your games hit, say they won't quite go in, then don't force them. Make sure your shell is screwed together. And make sure your cartridge slot is all the way down because you want this to be sitting low enough that the game rides over. And if it's too high, so say if I just let the shell rise up a little bit, you'll find the games will obviously hit uh, the lip here. So depending on your board and the flatness and original shell versus our shells, just make sure you have this in the right position. And if you find they're still hitting, you could always just shave off a little bit of this stump, which will help allow the game to go in. This stump originally was to push the game down into the original connector. The new game slot really doesn't need that. It's a brand new connector with plenty of uh, spring in it. So if you're finding your games are hitting, you could always just trim a little bit of this bump. And now with the stump out, I feel that makes a much nicer connection on this brand new shell, for example. So it's not overly tight, being pushed by this dimple. But this varies based on whether you're using new shells, old shells, and how the board sits in. So the main thing is, once you've installed it, push slowly. And if you feel too much resistance, as if it's hitting on, you know, the top of something, maybe try trimming this, making sure it's flat, until you get the nice insert and you'll feel that it just sounds rock solid try it on multiple games make sure you're happy that all the games go in and once you do you know you're good to go so that's it for this one guys and i'll catch you in the next